As someone who loves spicy foods, I had a hard time finding hot chili pepper or hot sauce that fits my taste preference and doesn't contain a bunch of unwanted additives. I like to make these hot sauces in batches because they freeze well. Here I use 500ml mason jars, but if you don't think you can go through one jar in less than a few weeks time, store in smaller jars and use a clean, dry spoon every time. You can use any kind of chili peppers that you like. Here I use a mix of different kinds of red and green chili peppers, one large red onion, one brown onion, and about one head of garlic. Wash the chili peppers well. Then trim off the stems. You might want to wear gloves so that the heat from the peppers don't burn your hands. You won't feel it right away but working with this much of hot peppers, I will feel a burn afterwards without a pair of gloves. Heat up a pot or pan. Then add some oil. The oil is important as it works as some sort of a preservative to the hot sauce. I still use a lot less oil than what traditional hot sauce recipes call for. Add onions and garlic that have been roughly cut into pieces. Then add all the chili peppers. Give them a quick mix. Then cover the lid and cook on medium-high heat. I use a heavy bottom pot that doesn't burn easily. When the chili peppers are half cooked, they start to wilt and you can see that they've reduced in volume. Mix it around a bit. Cover the lid and cook again. Check periodically and stir the peppers, onion and garlic around and adjust the heat to make sure they don't burn. When the peppers are almost done, season with some sea salt and brown sugar. When the peppers are fully done and cooked, Blend them with an immersion blender or any blender that you have. If using an immersion blender like this, be careful as the hot peppers may splatter around a bit. Once they are all blended well, taste and adjust seasonings accordingly. Then add some vinegar. The vinegar adds to the taste and acts as a natural preservative. You can use any type of vinegar. Here I use apple cider vinegar. Turn off heat and carefully add the hot sauce into clean and dry jars. Then leave to cool completely. Store in the refrigerator for up to a month or freeze to last longer. 